Good, whatever it is, I'm Antalus, welcome back to Space Engineers. So, I was just trying to pick up the loot crate and bring it back, and I forgot that turret is set to target neutral, which I'm gonna fix. So, we took some minor damage, hold on, powered it off so it's not wasting thruster power, uh, mainly in the landing gear, which is where I had the crate strapped. We need a couple other things too, this thruster is not really functional, don't think there was really anything else. But we have this right here. So this is the nanobot build-in repair system. And I put all the components in it. I wait to I was waiting to bring it online until I could do it live. Oh, it's not conveyored up though, so it doesn't even matter. So let's bring it online. Ta-da, there it is. And we're gonna need to do a couple other things too. So Get interior plates. Oh. What are you drawing stuff from? I don't think it's conveyed up, so... Oh, it's probably just stuff that I put things into, but haven't finished laying it out. We also gotta change the volume on that. Let's do that really quick. Build a repair system. So I am using fly mode. I keep it maximum size. Down volume. I'm gonna do 20. I I believe you have to turn it off and on. Huh. That's strange. So and then I got this color right here set up as a way to just designate blocks to be removed. I don't even know what it's working on. But let's go ahead and pipe it up up here. Which I almost feel like I should pipe it up differently than I have been doing. Eh. Okay. Oh, that, that's not gonna work. Go up this way! That kind of worked. Kind of almost, but not quite. Yeah, I can do this. Think, then, thoughts. And I'm not worried about welding this up quite yet, because the nanite system will let me just put parts into it and then do it. So this doesn't have quite the look I was going for, but it will be okay. Okay, tear plates, muscle tubes, construction components, others. I should be able to get that to the build and repair system. I could have gotten up this whole time. plates, construction plus wall of tubes, or interior plates, because there's no way that's enough. Oh, right. Wait, there were connectors on- oh, they're on the sides, which are covered. And for now, I'm liking the red color as well, because it's different than the rest of the base, and it is kind of an emergency system. There you go. And it will weld up its own connectors eventually. Sounds like it's doing it right now. Let's go take a look actually, because I was thinking it was going to take a little bit. Yes. Come on. You can do it. Probably working on the things it did. Landing gears. Oh, still not finished because it needs a large steel. Well, let's grab those components again. And I guess go up and do it ourselves. And 
get stuck on all the rocks in the way. I need to open this up a little bit more. I need to get maintenance access up here. Make that a thing. Eh. Don't burn all my hydrogen. Just most. Also tubes. Oh! You need two more. Okay. Well, I have my drill, so let's just open this up a little bit right now. Guess I didn't make it up. Oh, don't disassemble. Assemble. What those batteries are from is one of the mods I have. When you grind down batteries, it gives you dead battery components, which can be cheaty, but I, uh, I've, I'm pretty sure I've already said this. I don't let it work that way. I try not to use them to recharge something immediately, so no infinite power from that. So this is now all conveyored up. Back it real quick. Air system. Missing items. Lots of stuff. I need to make sure it's set to pull all that stuff as well. Drop this off. Okay, use conveyor system on. Oh, others, sure. There it goes, it's starting. Okay. There's not a whole ton. Oh! I forgot about this. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking this off. But let's try out that color. Of course, that's not available for small ships. And it will grind that off when it runs out of things well. Let me make sure that's set up for that as well. Because this is actually a really cool mod. I'm going to be using it for now. And I'm not really sure what all these mean, like weld before grind. That makes sense, but grind if weld stuck. I'm guessing if it can't weld something, then it will grind as well. Makes more sense. Okay, so that should be that taken care of. Let me show you my latest loot that I got, because it's kind of cool, kind of not. Which is my opinion of a lot of loot. Did grind that down? No. Working on something else. I don't know what it's working on. 75 by 75 by 5 too is a fairly decent area. Go in here, and I have the zombie helmet. As well as... I just got the zombie rifle. You can't see because I don't have my rifle out. I don't even have a rifle on me so about it. Let me go grab one. I don't even have a rifle to grab. Wow. Rapid fire. I'd rather have the precision right. Fine. Okay. Grab this. And I gotta close my helmet so you can see what it looks like. Zombie helmet. And, whoops, rifle, normal rifle, zombie rifle, there's so much difference. I'm not actually a fan of the zombie helmet, or the badger helmet. 
Yes, good, good wave there. And yeah, there's nothing all that exciting. The zombie rifle is fine, but stick with the veteran one. So, the plan for today, oh wow, I've already wasted 10 minutes, is I don't need this so desperately right now, but we have sites over there ready to go. And I think if I put in that mod. Tractor beam. And no, I didn't. I want to set up automated mining sites. And there are a couple ways to do that. Is Well, the first way is I could try to script it. Or I could try to... The second way is I could set up autopilot. That's trying to get to a point with the drills on. And that just doesn't make a whole ton of sense. But I could flick it with the antennas. To reach out to it and say, okay, and then you'll return to base following these coordinates. And the last one will have it reverse into a connector. The third option is use a mod. And I was hoping to do that. I thought I had the beam drill or something like that installed. But I don't seem to. The nanite mod would do that. Because their direction direct repair... Yeah, I need to read more about this mod. Weird that some of these are empty. Well, double check I don't have anything like that. I do. Oh. Don't. Also, I'd like to put some sort of a big gun on this at some point. Battleship cannon, what does that look like? That is a gun. That is a real gun. And it makes sense, given it's the battleship cannon. Oh good, and it has conveyor port. At some point, I would like to put this on the base. Speaking of guns, let me shut off the target neutrals on that turret. Or I just forget and almost kill myself again. Target missiles on. Do not target neutrals. Okay, so that should take care of that. So, I don't think we really need bigger defenses. Nothing is coming close enough. But maybe what we could do is design a platform that sits up like more up there and we can do antenna to antenna the various defensive platforms that are a few hundred feet above us let's get an idea for the altitude real quick I believe I got this charged power on yeah three hours that's more than enough two hours still more than enough I want to see how high up this goes. Six hundred, about six, six hundred to seven hundred meters. Kind of hard to uh, approximate it like this. That's some good distance, and we could put one like right here, one over there and build like a tower out somewhere and that would let us defend ourselves pretty well and it would let us give us a better opportunity Ooh. coming in a lot faster than I mean to it's gonna be a bump oh or not it would let us get a better look at these ships because it's higher up and further away and it would also let us do something to start taking them out before we get a small ship in range. I like that idea. I... I like the idea of getting mining stations up and going. And so what it would be is would be a small platform like just a few blocks wide, a reactor and then a, a simple conveyor system 
let me show you what I'm thinking it will look like. Because I can build this without having the mod set up. Alder, and I'm going to need some steel plates. Lots of them. Ooh, I could build a ship with the nanite system to fly around and build up things like this. Go outside and close the door behind me. Even though I didn't close the door on the back porch. So, uranium I think should be our first goal. And I have access to it somewhere. But I'm frankly not sure where. But a straight down pit actually is more correct to what I want. Oh, well, this is the right in the middle of my road. We'll go straight down here. And we want to go until it levels out, because this is going to run a set of a row of conveyors up to a surface cargo system, and that's what we can automate with the autopilot. Yeah, this is where we want to be. And we're going to have to do some leveling later to get this working right. And yes, I'm pretty sure I just got rid of the ore there. That's okay. It wasn't all that much. Okay. So, now that we're down here, we'll set up... Got rid of my normal block as well for that gun. Do a light armor block. Ooh, not, not pink anything but that pink. And that's the main reason for that color. We'll do a light armor block somewhere like here. And this should be in the range of that system as well. Whoops. Yes it is. Okay, so it's starting to weld all this up for us means it's going to be really easy to place the rest of this down. And then we'll do structure up and over and then when we get the beam drill or something like that we can place it on the ceiling so that it can target this uranium in the ground and mine it for us. Now this will need power as well and what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll set up a reactor down here. This is close enough too that I could just be conveyed up to my normal base. Okay. Nope, oh, I've got conveyors on my bar. But I don't have the interior plates, I'll need to use them. So we'll set it up right here ish. And then this will just mine uranium forever. And the hope is that I'm getting uranium faster than I'm consuming it with this. Ooh. Well, that was a mistake. That was just pure uranium I got rid of. And... So it will mine the rest of this out for us. Conveyor up to here. And we'll have a conveyor sitting on the top of this. Yeah, this is not a straight down hole. We'll have to fix that as well. And then I'll sh set up a cargo ship that has a, just a connector on the bottom. And so it will come dock to this. And then I'll use a remote command to tell it to come back. We'll have a sorter block so it tells it to push all their uranium through to its cargo containers as well. Yeah, I think that will work. And we're going to need the battle platforms as well. What if there were something I built down here and then lifted up to a location? Like something... I don't think that cannon comes in small grid. But let's check. Yeah.
Yeah, none of this comes in small grid. Does any of this come in small grid? It kind of makes... Oh, this does. That's an unmovable turret. Small ship, black turret. Not a bad idea. Anyways, we can make a platform that we can lift up and set down in various locations and then move later. And it will just have like a couple solar panels, a battery, a turret, an antenna, some landing gear so we can attach and detach it from various points. But I think I'm going to get started on a couple of those off, off camera. So I'm going to toss. I'll catch you later.